Hello, today we are going to make what's called either a bow tie or side curtain card. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this is a fantastic card to use, just quarter piece cardstock. Okay, because all you need is a quarter piece cardstock and a six by a six by six square of D DSP, and then you just trim it down so that it fits on the front of a card. And I just left it, so I, I trimmed it down so that it's actually four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay, so four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's so that it, it reaches from this edge to this edge, okay? And it's about an eighth of an inch shorter, or a quarter of an inch shorter, rather. Okay, so, because you want to leave a little border on top and bottom. So you can either do it that way, or you can use an actual card, an A2 card, and you can do the same thing. It depends on what you're going for. If you've got these pieces, a whole bunch of these quarter sheets, and you're trying to go through your cardstock scraps, use these because then you can always write your message on the back. Okay. If you're going from scratch and you're gra and you're just grabbing a card and you want to make the whole thing, go for the actual full card. Okay. Because so you can do either one. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this on this sheet here, on this quarter piece. Alrighty, so, and then you're going to need a flower, and I brought out a 3D one that I made, and a flat one, and a couple leaves, just in case. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're going to take our scoreboard, and we're going to take our, our piece of decorative paper, and we want it long ways. So see how we've got the extra on this way? So this top here is four and a quarter inches wide, so we want that up on the scoreboard, okay? We're going to score it every quarter of an inch or yeah quarter yep every quarter of an inch all right so go ahead and score every single one quarter of an inch felt like that shifted over for a minute there i guess it didn't good Oh, I think my husband's got me sick. My sinuses, my throat's getting kind of sore and my sinuses are getting kind of funky backed up again. So it definitely does not feel like allergies. It feels like a little bit stronger than allergies. All right, there, perfect. Now, we're gonna take this, put this back away and put my scoreboard away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left side, okay, because I'm going to do my curtain or bow tie on the left side. You can, you can do it on the right side if you want to, but I'm going to start on the left. So you want this to be a valley fold. So you want to fold this up and over, okay. So after that, you just fold back and forth on every single score line that you made. So do an accordion fold all the way to the end. And because we've scored it, then it folds very quickly and neatly and easily. And if you wait till the very end to score it, then you can maneuver it over if you if you need to. Because I've noticed sometimes when I do this, it'll start kind of shifting off like it, like it needs a V8, if you're familiar with that commercial. You know, you're walking kind of diagonal. So, and sometimes when we do these accordion folds, that's what happens is they start shifting diagonally. And you don't, to, in order to fix that, then you wanna, when you're all done like this, then go ahead and squeeze it together. There, because then you have more control over it. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna kinda gently fold it in half away from your valley fold. This is your valley fold here, so you're gonna fold it in like this, just a little bit, because we want it just, just enough to say, okay, that's the center. All right, so now we're gonna take, and we're gonna open up this one side, that valley fold, and we're gonna put glue on this edge, and we're gonna glue it down here. And if you have double stick tape, that's perfect for this, or you can just use tacky glue or your glue stick or whatever you have. And I'm gonna leave a, a slight border over here. There, I hope you can see that. And I'll lift it up in just a moment. But I'm just pressing this down and gluing it down. 
like that so that it looks like this. Okay, so we've got that first valley fold glued straight down. The rest of this, we're gonna gather it like this. And this is gonna be either a side curtain or a bow tie. If you're gonna make a bow tie card, then you can add big buttons. I, I picture this being a clown card. <laughs> this would make a great clown, a great two big buttons. Wouldn't that be adorable? And then you could put your message on the back, okay? So, all right, so we've got this done. So now, this is your card. You can you can go ahead and you can cut a layer of white on the back if your cardstock is color. It, your cardstock is darker. I would definitely line it the back with a white piece or an off white piece. Um, sometimes even with the lighter colors, I like to go ahead and do that too. All right, so you're going to let this naturally stay open a wee bit, just like it is, and then we're going to add this flower right here. Okay. Once we glue this down, that should hold it together for us. All right, so, and I think I'm gonna use my glue dots for this. Yep, 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 if I can find them, they're in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? I've got some, is that it? Nope, all right. I put them all in my bag, that's why. My bag to go over to Tina's house. All right. So I'm going to take this glue dot and I'm going to put it on the back of this flower. And these are nice big glue dots. Come on. There you go. All righty. And then just stick it on here. Isn't that pretty? I do like the way that looks. All right, so now I need a green gem because I want to pull this green out. So I'm going to a green gem and stick it in there. So let's get a, a green gem. I've got a green one. Ooh, there's a nice dark green one. Yeah, do I want that dark green or do I want this light green? Ooh, I think I want the light green. That's pretty. All right, so let's put that light green one on. We can certainly pull this back up. Alrighty, let's get an end one. That one will work. Oh, that's so perfect. Isn't that adorable? Alrighty. There. So now, as I was saying, if you want to make it into a bow tie, then you just turn it sideways and let it be a bow tie and just decorate the rest. Pretend like this is a shirt. And you could put a little pocket here. You can put some big buttons or just some regular, you could even put regular buttons on there. But I think I'm just going to use it as a side curtain for mine. All righty. So let's see. Now to decorate it the rest of the way. Oh, and let me pull this up so you can see, get a better look at it. Isn't that pretty? Just something very simple and easy by using a quarter piece of a decorative paper and a quarter piece of cardstock. How fun is that? All right. So now we can decorate this. So... That would be so adorable. Let's see. Where did I put that? I just traced out a pattern for a bathtub. That would be adorable to let the bathtub in there and then put something poking out of the bathtub. That would be adorable. I'm going to do that. See, and I was started to cut this out and then I didn't. So, because this is going to be my pattern. But once I cut it out piece that I'm cutting out I can use because I like to save the negative portion for my patterns because then I can just tape this together and then I can just trace around on the inside and it's so much easier for my hands to do it that way than to trace around the positive piece which is this piece so this will be fun making a bathtub cord I just made another bathtub card couple videos ago and I think that's when I traced this as a matter of fact I think so and here I was thinking how many times a year would I really use a bathtub well because I used it in one of my other videos and this has still been this pattern still been sitting on my desk waiting to be cut out and then filed away in my patterns because it's been in view, then it's on my mind. My 
husband's downstairs. He's not been feeling well, and he's been he's down there cooking something. It sure does smell good. All right, there. We now have a bathtub, and I now have this pattern. So I can finish that pattern later, and I can go ahead and erase those pencil lines. There. Nice. Pretty good. All right. So now I want to roll this. There. Soften that up a little. work nope but it'll work this way and I can do it that way that'll be cute that is so fit silly huh or I can just go ahead and leave this down and put this on if I leave it flat I can do it but then can you tell it's a, a tub if I put bubbles on it you can all right so I'm just gonna glue this edge down if I glue that flat and then round this piece up that'll work I don't know. I'm thinking I really want the bubble back for some reason. Or let's see what else we can put on here. Maybe we can do a different idea. Let's see. <laughs> what would match this? Let's see, we can always do a basket of flowers. Put a basket here, and then we could put some flowers in there. That would be pretty. Ooh, that would actually be really nice, wouldn't it? This piece that's that's too much because it takes away from that all right nope we don't want that okay let me look in my animal bin here do, 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 do. oops I've got an owl but that's blue this is what I'm looking in <laughs> if, if you're interested sometimes someone will say can you show us what you're looking in and it's just a plastic it's just a shoebox bin Actually, this one's a refrigerator bin I got off of Amazon. Um, and I've got envelopes in here. So I've got angels, fairies, animals, bugs, birds, bears, owls, butterflies, dragonflies, cats. Oh, I could do a cat. That might be cute. Dogs. Farm animals. Frogs. <laughs> a frog up on the stage. Oh, that reminds me of the old cartoon. Remember the little dancing frog with his, his top hat? Little house mouse. That's a Mickey Mouse Bugs Bunny in here. Some more animals. Pigs. I've got lots of pigs. Oh, look at that handsome pig. Somebody sent him to me. That would be adorable. Let's, let's see what that would look like. A pig up on the stage. That's actually funny. Can't really see very good, but once I cut them out, I could do them. Do them on there. That's cute, but then I'd want something brown down here to actually look like a wooden stage. Let's see, I've got some brown paper in here. Yep, I could add a piece to the bottom there. That is a nifty idea piece of staging. He could stand on there. I guess I should have added this on before I put it on there. But I can always add another little piece on. That will work. All right, let's do this. Let's maneuver this around. That'll be fun. Okay, so I want about a half an inch. That'll work. Because <laughs> then I can just go ahead and put this on. Glue that down. That'll be cute. And then I can put a piece of this over there. All right, let's do that. Let's cut him out first. I was not expecting to do this, as you can tell. This little piggy is adorable. See, cutting them out. Let's 
feeling a bit feverish too. He didn't tell me he was feeling feverish, but he doesn't really talk when, when my husband's not feeling well. He just kind of gets quiet and just sits there and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he just coughs and hacks and coughs and hacks. And then he just lives on the couch for a couple of days. So I usually try to just come up here and stay away because I don't want to get sick, but obviously I didn't stay away enough. You know, you fall in love with these guys and you got to take care of them, so you can't just ignore them all the time. <laughs> Although when he's not feeling well, he does not like being catered to. He doesn't want to be talked to. He likes to be just, leave me alone. This is a very real like looking image. I like this image, that's cute. So whoever sent this to me, thank you. <laughs> the look on his face is really cute. All right, I could get a couple flowers out of that piece. These are, well, I could get one off of that one too. These ones are too little. All right, so see, then I put my flower right next to that because I know that's what I'm doing. All righty, so now let's curl this over. That is cute. All right, now let's get some glue on the back of this. up on the bottom up against that V fold on that curtain that is cute and then we can take and turn this around and we can put a little bit of glue right here and we can add the rest of that right here actually no you don't you wouldn't see it I'm thinking you would only see it on the very bottom of it, underneath the curtain. So you don't need it that big. You just need it, like, right here. What was I thinking, silly me? All right, I just need that much. <laughs> All right, like that. Yep. That's better. All right. There. All right. A little bit of ad-lib make-do. That's cute. And little Mr. Piggy. <laughs> He's so cute. That face. Oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm going to cut in where his ear is and around to his head because I want to pop his head out a little there and put his body down okay so I want the head forward and then the body and then the legs so the legs I'm gonna put glue right on right on the legs up the bottom of the legs there and on the tail okay and then I need this piece to go on for the body and then I need this piece to go on for the head For the head, I want it double layered. Right there and right here. <laughs> I stuck my fingernail down on it. <laughs> Attached it to my fingernail. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> All right, let's just glue myself together here. All right. So what I've done is put glue down because that's for layer one. Layer two is the single. Layer three is the, the double layer, okay? And what that does is it'll raise it up at a, at a diagonal angle like that. So it looks more real. There. So we're going to go ahead and put these feet down. All right. 
and then we're going to press that body down and then we're going to press that head down oh, I can see I should put maybe a little bit of glue right there but that's okay nope that's all right no problem it's still sticking out so that's good <clears throat> so check that out so that pig is now 3d out so isn't that cool so see how his head sticks out a little bit farther than his body doesn't show very good but but it does that's pretty cool all right now his ears especially this ear I'm going to take my skewer and I'm going to kind of curl it back there <laughs> There, all right, that's good. And then we'll curl this ear a little bit, just the tip. Ta-da, that's cute. All right, so now we've got that going on. I like that. Now I did have these leaves. Do I even need the leaves? Probably not. Eh. Actually, right there is okay. All right, I do like that one. Let's put that one on. Why not? There, that'll work. He's adorable. Okay, so now, what else? What are we gonna put up here? How about love and your smile? Bring me happiness, bring me happiness, love in your smile, happy love, love smile, whatever. Okay, we are wishing you a day of smiles and laughter. That is so funny. I could actually, you know what? I could fussy cut that out and put it right above them. That's kind of cute. Let's go for it. trim around first and then I'll go back and be more particular with it. Oops, that's definitely big enough for a couple flowers. I know I keep running out of flowers and so going all right remember to save those little scraps and when I'm done in the evening and I go downstairs for a little bit to spend some time with my sweetie then he likes to just sit there and watch TV, so I'll go down and sit and watch whatever he wants to watch, and that's when I'll start punching out some little flowers. Or if I start yapping on the phone, then I'll come up here and I'll sit down and I'll punch out flowers. I have a hard time just sitting still, doing nothing. I've gotten better at it though. <laughs> I should say I'm getting better at it. In my younger years, I just went 150 miles an hour constantly. I would set my pace and just go, 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 go. That's probably why I'm in so much pain now. Probably. That's actually cute there. I do like that. Let's go for it. <laughs> That's a cute little card. Pretty nifty. All right, let's put this stuff away. And get some glue up here. the 
there. Come on, be still now. Quit moving around. All righty. I like that. That makes a cute little card. <laughs> what do you think of that? Isn't that fun? All right. So I've actually created a little stage going on. So, and out of a piece of scrap card, which is solid color cardstock, a scrap piece of decorative paper, and some little bits of other scraps. Not too shabby. Alrighty, so let's bring this up here. Isn't it cute? And I'm thinking, ooh, my wink is Stella. I, we should definitely do his nose so it'll look nice, moist, and wet. Because piggies always have a nasty looking wet nose. And let's do inside his ear too. Why not? There, and his little cheek. <laughs> That's fun. All right, now hopefully you can see that too. That nose is perfect. Oh, yes, you can. Isn't that fun? All right, so there you go. There is today's card idea. I hope you like this idea and you will give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.